Bad news. Malik Scott is saying that Andy Ruiz don't want it with his fighter. Deontay the Bronze Bummer Walter from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh my God, to this day. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I am back with some more boxing, the best in the business, and it's not even close. Subscribe to the channel. Malik Scott posted this, it was on his stories, and he's saying that he's getting random messages from a burner account that he believes is connected to Andy Ruiz. As you guys know, I've made videos about it. Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder, they seem to be at an impasse. Andy Ruiz is looking for closer to, if not 50-50 split, but he's claiming, or, no, or his side is at least claiming that it was a 70-30 split, some, somewhere around there offered by Wilder. Wilder on his side, he's saying, we offered you a whole lot of money, Andy. You got to take the fight. Don't listen to your pops and let others domineer and dictate your career. Now, Malik Scott posted this. He's receiving these anonymous texts, anonymous like Bobby Valentino. And he put a caption. It says, they rather have random numbers text me with ish like this instead of getting the contract signed. Shaking my head emoji. Andy Ruiz, he tagged him. Just say you don't want to fight, bruh. So we can move on, shaking my head. Wasting time just to be decapitated. Bombs emoji, time's up. And the text thread said, you guys are clowns. Keep letting your slave master, Shelly, meaning Shelly Finkel, make all your decisions. You keep talking and you don't run anything. And it looks like Malik responded, nah, BZ. Wilder called his own shots the same way he called a shot for Andy Ruiz to even get the first Joshua fight. Y'all should be thanking him. Now, whoever this is, go put the same energy into getting that fat tattooed butterball to sign the contract so we can surgically start the preparation for his decapitation. Bomb. If y'all don't take this fight, there will never be any more big time boxing for Andy Ruiz. Prepared to be shelved and broke. Time's up, middle finger, and it says at Deontay Wilder Brahms, Bomber. They don't want to fight, bro. Let's just move to the next victim. Shaking my head. Wow. Now I tell you guys all the time on my channel. If I don't know explicit details, then I'm not. I don't. I'm not going to pretend to know if I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You know, my opinion would just be speculation. I just feel the heavyweight division needs to get it together because. There's so many fights that could have been good fights and should have been good fights, and they're not happening. Like, there's no fight happening in the heavyweight division effortlessly where it's just being made. It's always some BS, always like Jay-Z said, politics is usual. You know, it always seems to be this malarkey and long drawn out negotiation. Like, Deontay Wilder had to sue and go through mediations and arbitrations to fight Tyson Fury and get his rematches because Fury's like, I'm fighting somebody else. Then you have Tyson Fury. He's been linked to fight from Anthony Joshua. Never happened for Undisputed when Joshua had titles to an Undisputed fight with Usyk. Long negotiations. Nothing happened. And, you know, even names like John Jones, Francis Ngannou, nothing has happened. So I just named four potential opponents for Fury none of which actually came off. We still don't know what Fury's doing. And then now you have Wilder Ruiz. And this is pretty much the same thing. It's like, this is maybe even a bit worse because they're on the same side. Like Frank Warren has Tyson Fury, but he doesn't have Anthony Joshua. He doesn't have Usyk. So Ruiz and Wilder, there's really no reason why that fight couldn't, shouldn't happen because they're aligned with the same people. Hopefully they get it together. I don't really know about this burner account and who's texting him, but a lot of people trying to save face. Wilder is going to experience this because when he had at least a belt, people could say, oh, I need to fight him because he's a it's a title opportunity and he was unbeaten. But now Wilder has the losses to Fury and he has no belt, which makes him extremely dangerous. Like you really can get knocked out that Alabama slammer, right? But then he does. So he presents a lot of danger and harm to you because obviously if you get knocked out, it's embarrassing. 
nobody wants to get stretched in front of millions of people. And, you know, I guess you would just have to make sure your paycheck is everlasting and you're getting paid an amount that could be worth it for that type of risk. So I could see Wilder as long as see. And the thing is, Wilder keeps posting these pictures. He's probably scaring people. He's he's posting videos and you could tell he's lean and in shape. He looks like he's working on some different things with Malik Scott. So I could see this being an uphill battle. Usyk said he was going to go to Wilder's fight with Robert Hellenius, the Viking, and he no-showed. So Wilder's going to run into this problem, extremely dangerous. People could say whatever, he can't box and all this. He lacks fundamentals. But one thing he doesn't lack is power, and he'll knock your ass eh, silly. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Hopefully they get it together. For the sake of boxing fans in the heavyweight division, 2023 has been a marvelous year. So I would like to see it continue with a great heavyweight fight because we're not really getting great heavyweight fights. Report to the comments and I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.